five to go. Next up, Jason Song from PK Fair. Jason, take the stage. Hello, I'm Jason from PK Fair, which is a global air ticket sales and distribution partner of airlines. We started our business four years ago and provide air content and technologies to empower OTA, TMC, and offline travel agencies with more than daily 100 million search time query services. OK, sorry. Uh, Right now, we connect to more than 600 uh, airlines with NDC and uh, GDS. Uh, the contents covers more than 200 global ticket agents located in more than 100 countries. So our global buyers from anywhere could uh, easily access those content pool with API and the portal. Right now, our system proceeds more than 10,000 orders per day, departure from 95 of the countries globally. According to the researches in China internet markets, uh, uh, there are only nine APPs were opened every day with each one user. This means the online user traffic is going to be scared. And 90% uh, of the online user traffic is uh, going to be centralized on the APPs, which is not ODA. For example, Meituan is one of the biggest uh, LBS platform in China. And it got eight times bigger DAU than uh, OTA in China. Today, Meituan even uh, have more booking than the OTA in China market. This proves that uh, the LBS platform with huge user traffic could also provide travel services successfully. We think this applies to any platforms with big user traffic. So based on these findings, we keep thinking what is the barrier for those non-OTA players to provide travel services. After some studies, we find it's mainly about the business and the technique issue. Their team do not have enough experience in travel domain. And technically speaking, the air and the hotel distribution technology is quite different. But if we could provide them with a total new solution, things may be different. This is the solution we proposed to Jindong, which is one of the biggest e-commerce platform in China. They are now provide travel services in China and want to extend this service to other Asian emerging markets. What we provide to them is not only a search engine, but a, a, with a local suppliers pool and the best fares with local services in the countries that they are not familiar with. We also help airlines directly use their NDC to sell the tickets on the LBS and the e-commerce platform. It's not just about sell the tickets. For example, the airline could share their revenue program to the restaurants through the LBS platform. So this would bring offline visits to the restaurants. The user could get some discounts from their membership and uh, the airlines could also get revenue back, like what they are doing now in the airport. Today's topic is actually not about the online user traffic. It's actually about data. Based on the airline's uh, NDC technology, we think that uh, distribution on those new platforms uh, should be quite different than it used to be in the OTA platform, because those platforms know the user better. For example, those platforms could directly provide the uh, user general profile to the airline dynamic offer systems with like gender, uh, age range, with family or not, the frequent flyer number, and the consumption abilities. So the systems could uh, generate the better offers directly to the user. Think about it, when you're just wondering where to go, the system could directly give you some uh, recommendations. And uh, when you are buying tickets, the system will also generate some upgrade options according to your preference. Of course, there are still some issues need to be solved, like the ticket change services, which is the most complicated things for any of the new players in the travel industry. To help the users to have a better experience, we also developed the automatic change 
uh, functions with semantic analysis. So uh, the machine could read and calculate uh, penalties written by the uh, airlines with free tax rules. In the end, the PK fair are working very hard to provide technologies to empower any website and APPs with user traffic. With more and more user-related data, uh, the, we are still working on the dynamic packaging algorithm, which covers the flights, hotel, and sceneries, and the destination products. Think about it. One day, when you browse the, uh, the websites of the airline, you could buy not only the air ticket related products, but also hotels and the destination products. This is because the airlines know you when you search the flights during your fly and even after your arrival in the destinations. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jason. Step off the stage. Mike. Focus group, thumbs up or thumbs down? Good amount of red. Valen, let's go to you first. Well, one of the questions I wasn't clear when I was reading about the, 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 this presentation and listening to you was um, where exactly in the world do you provide these services? Where, what is your market? So that's a question that I would have. From my perspective, I wasn't quite clear on what problem you were trying to solve um, and how you differentiated yourself from anyone else out there providing travel services. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, I've seen Jason uh, present before, and I know you have some robust technology, but it's a pretty crowded marketplace, so you're going to need help in getting your message out there and explaining the value. Otherwise, it's going to be a very, very, very tough battle. Yeah, I don't um, know that I see a need for another airfare aggregator. I mean, I think... You know, there's low margins to begin with. I think airlines don't want to be um, have intermediaries in, in, in the middle. And uh, I, I think, you know, from an NDC standpoint, I think likely that the GDSs will have NDC solutions and there'll be direct connects. But it is really hard for me to see much room um, kind of outside of that. I mean, I know, you know, Travel Fusion has had some level of success. And I'm curious what... Um, what you bring to the table that's different from what they're doing. But I, I just don't see a, there's gonna, that we're going to have five or six of these aggregators on top of the GDSs and on top of everything else that's already out there. I, I thought the, the one area that was interesting was, was buying plane tickets from places you wouldn't expect to buy plane tickets. Um, we did a survey of a bunch of three, about 3,000 travelers last year and asked them, where would they expect to buy a plane ticket? They're not buying a plane ticket now. And of course, 40% of them said Amazon. So, uh, you know, we all know in the industry that this is tricky business, but people expect to buy stuff from where they, where they buy stuff. I'd love to get Amazon on that stage right now. Uh, Jason, I, uh, my question to you when you have the opportunity to answer, what is PK Fair's secret sauce? Why are you different? Uh, I think the NDC situation lends an opportunity, but it's a narrow window, and, and I'm wondering what your secret sauce is that you're going to try to use to seize your, your, your future. I think that's a good place to start. So do you want to explain your secret sauce? Okay. Uh, actually, it's uh, must, uh, most of the occasions, uh, uh, OTAs and the airlines do, do not have uh, too much scenarios to get to uh, know about the customer, what the customer needs. Actually, buying the tickets and buying uh, travel products is not about not like uh, buying a bottle of water. It's kind of like they give you offers, not just to give you the products. Uh, when we... Uh, find out uh, when your users spend most of your time on the uh, LBS platform and on the e-commerce platform, those platforms know you much better than any other kind of OTA does. So according to the basic general profile, those platforms know you. So the airline's system could uh, give uh, the users much better offer, uh, much personalized offer according to the data. Great, thank you very much, Jason. 